22-year-old Ralph Dortzenberg was on a one-man mission to make fast money. The gangster, who was from Canningtown in North London, carried out at least 12 robberies during a six-month period. That crime spree was intense, especially for its victims, who were mostly Asian women. So unfazed about his wrongdoing, Ralph even posed for pictures showing off money he had taken from his victims by force or from selling their jewellery that they ripped off their necks or wrists. In one specific incident, Ralph was caught on CCTV jogging behind an unsuspecting woman in broad daylight before breaking off into a dash in March. He then grabbed a woman from behind and then ripped off a gold necklace from her neck as part of a £20,000 heist. Ralph liked to specifically target older Asian women as he believed they most often wore high value items. However, when police arrested Ralph Dortzenberg, he pretended as though they had the wrong man. However, police searched his North London home and found one 18 karat gold necklace in a drawer. Police also confiscated his mobile phone and when police looked through the phone, they found Ralph posing with stolen necklaces and messages where he bragged about his crime spree and how it was quick cash and of course him posing with wads of cash. Ralph was interviewed and the evidence was presented to him. Now police even told Ralph they knew his pattern which was to trail his victims leaving a large gap as they walked down the street as to not cause a commotion. He would often wear joggers and pretend to be out for either a walk or just jogging getting some exercise. He would then race up and approach his older victims from behind holding them to himself by force before grabbing chains from their necks or watches and bracelets from their wrists. If the victim acted up for any reason or even tried to defend themselves or scream, Ralph would then strike the victim, target area always the head and face. In at least three of the occasions, the women would then shove to the ground. The oldest victim was 72 years old. Once the robbery was complete and the victim was either left in shock or laying on the ground, Ralph would then run away. He would either remove his clothes or then change in order to avoid being caught. He would also go from having braids to having his hair all out and even wearing hats sometimes. He would then of course sell the jewellery on. To make matters worse, his targets were not by accident. Ralph would often go to the more affluent areas of London and stake out his victims for at least a few days. He would make sure that they always wore gold jewellery. Now the robberies only stopped because Ralph Dortzenberg was arrested and police says if they did not catch him it was only a matter of time before Ralph Dortzenberg did something more serious, leaving his victims with life-changing injuries. Now in court the judge laid out the six-month crime spree where Ralph made at least £20,000. The judge says that was an estimate because Ralph was linked to at least 25 robberies but sadly police could not prove they were all done by him. So, they could only prove 12 of those. The crime spree lasted from February 2014 to June 2014, and for this, Ralph was jailed for 6 years. Does the crime match the sentence? Let me know in the comments. Stay safe. Safe.